If you want to get good at writing code that can survive long term, you need to learn unit tests. Even if you don't use this skill, going through the practice helps teach the very difficult concept of code complexity. I'll go over the basics here, but I recommend watching the follow-up videos on test automation as well. In Unity, I'm using 2021.3 LTS, you can get to Unity's test runner from Window, General, Test Runner. It won't have anything, but it's not hard to set up. From the project view, right-click on any folder and say Create, Testing, Tests Assembly Folder. This generates a folder called Tests and puts an assembly definition inside. You could do this manually, but there are several configurations to the assembly definition file, so it's easier to use the tool instead. If what you are testing is in an assembly definition already, or needs to reference others, then you will typically add the references here. However, if you need to add a bunch of references, then you're not likely using solid very well, which to a certain degree is a must for test automation. Next, right click on the folder and say, or select create testing C sharp test script. This generates your first testing file. Some things that stand out. You are using nunit.framework and unity engine.test tools. If you have familiarity with nunit, you will find some other attributes here like setup and teardown. Another thing is that you'll see an attribute test over the method and also unity test. To keep things short, we will cover unity test, the unity test attribute in another video. Typically the test manager will list these functions, the ones with test or unity test over the top of their attribute. If they throw an exception, then the test case will fail. If they don't error out in any way, then the test is considered good. The structure here is project name, then assembly definition name, then class name, then test method names. I'm looking at new test script. At the top of the panel, click run all. It should have been pretty quick because this is not loading your whole game. It's just validating a tiny part. You can see that it failed for one of them and the other succeeded. If you click on the part that failed, on the one that failed, you will see why. Because there was a system exception. As long as it doesn't throw an exception, the test passes. Now, I strongly recommend that you also watch the follow-up videos on Unity AAA test pattern, Unity test with I enumerator, and mock Unity test to get a good grasp over how to really use this.